Welcome to the Not So Cooking Show with Jasmine Starr. But basically, I'm going to be talking about Instagram, but I'm going to be talking about Instagram while I prepare a midday snack, which is one of my favorites, and that's guacamole. Love it, love it, love it. It's one of the two things that I actually can cook. The first one being cereal, the second one being our ever lovely avocado guacamole. Okay, so as a quick tip and trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create lines within my avocado, vertical and horizontal lines, and then I'm just going to scoop out the avocado because then it'll already be chopped up in the slices and the sizes of pieces that I want. Okay, so let's chat about one of the questions that I'm often asked every single week when I show up live on Facebook. This question shows up all the time and that's, Jasmine, do you have a business Instagram account or a personal Instagram account? I have not switched over to a business account. And I'm gonna explain in a second why. However, before we go there, let's chat about the onion. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for the avocado. I'm going to bisect my onion, both horizontally and vertically, and then just make a singular cut across so that all my pieces are already uh, chopped pretty evenly. So let's go back and chat about the incentives that Instagram is using to move people from a personal account to a business account. Number one is getting verified. Although that process is really difficult, I would love to get a little blue circle, blue, blue check, but that hasn't been in my future. And guess what? I don't really think it's affecting my overall performance. So don't really need that. The other incentive was to actually have people get directions or give you a call within the app or leave a review. And that's not important to me because I don't have a physical location. When it comes to analytics, that's really important, but there's a lot of third-party apps, something like Planoly or Later, that you can get pretty awesome um, understandings of who's liking your photos and who's commenting. Another thing that I discovered is that if I run an ad on Instagram, it could be as little as $5. If I run an ad on Instagram, I get all of the analytics for that day. So let's say I really wanted to know or understand when my people were most active, the gender of my, the most of my following, or who's engaging with most of my stuff. I can spend $5, get those analytics, get that information, and that information will be good for at minimum a month. So there's that. Let's get into the last incentive that I think is so amazing. But before we get there, let's chop some jalapeno or jalapeno for some people who don't know how to say it right. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're gonna uh, cut off the very edge of it. And I like things spicy, I really do. I grew up as a kid in my family and we would eat these fresh with dinner. I'm gonna use half of it. And I'm going to just cut them across horizon horizontally. This is not a cooking show, y'all. It's just, I'm gonna cut them across and I'm gonna keep on chopping while I finish the most best and most amazing feature on Instagram that I want, but I'm not sure if I'm going to actually sacrifice my personal account for. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna talk specifically about the swipe up feature. Man alive, that swipe up feature is spicy. And I'm not just saying that because I'm cutting jalapenos. I'm saying that because it's a really awesome feature. Now, I've chosen not to take advantage of having a business account, even though I have more than 10,000 followers for the swipe up feature, because I don't run a business that needs to send a lot of people to a lot of different places at once. Now, when I do host online free classes or when I do launch another issue of Social Curator, it would be really nice to have that swipe up feature go here, but not at the expense for me of losing organic traffic. I believe, if not now, at some point in the future, I believe that Instagram business accounts are gonna function the same way Facebook pages it, interact, right? So the, on the algorithm on Facebook, now people are actually seeing less of your Facebook page, and then if you want people to see more of it, you have to pay to play. And I think that maybe not now, but in the future, that's exactly where they're going. And for me, at this point, due to the nature and breakup of my business, it's more important for me to have organic reach. So if I had a business where I had a podcast that changed every week, if I had a lot of products I wanna be promoting, if I was using affiliate marketing where I would blog about the clothes I was wearing or the shoes that I was wearing or the knives that I'm using, and I'm constantly wanting to send people to a very specific link, then having a business account for the swipe up feature would make sense. But I'm largely a digital based service provider that really only has four launches a year. Like, do I want you to go see a video on YouTube and do I want you to go to my blog post? Yeah, but I will try to just make it as incentivizing as possible on Instagram and say, go to this link. And if they go, awesome. They just don't have the luxury to swipe up. 
I know that I'm in the minority and I know that I'm speaking about this today. Maybe next week another incentive will come out on Instagram business and I'll be like, I have to. But as of right now, those are the reasons why. Okay, let's finish the last bit of this guacamole and we'll take it from there. What we just did right now was finally chop up some cilantro. I love cilantro. Here's the thing, I'm just extra. I'm extra in all the ways. So yes, I like extra onion. Yes, I like extra chili. Yes, I like extra cilantro. And yes, I love me some extra lime. Now the, uh, the reason why lime is really important is that it prevents the avocado from going brown and it also breaks up that really fatty component of the avocado. So now what we're simply gonna do is we're gonna mix it all together and um, I usually will add some uh, tomatoes, but today I'm gonna keep it monochromatic. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a little bit of salt for flavor, and we're gonna get, some people like pepper, some people don't. Because I'm extra, I'll just go with it. Sometimes people add pomegranate. Sometimes we'll add sunflower seeds. Some, just for like a little bit of texture. It's entire, oh, yesterday, okay, so I was watching a show, and instead of putting sour cream, because some people put sour cream, they put, they put Greek yogurt. And so they thought that the Greek yogurt kind of gave like a nice breakup of the uh, fatty component to the avocado. I definitely add tomato, but I'm just gonna be real, I didn't have any tomato. I love the little pops of red that it provides, as well as that sweet component that the uh, tomato has. I am a gluten-free vegetarian, so I try to make healthy snacks throughout the day to keep my body right, to get my head right, to make sure that I have the strength that I need to finish the day. But let's be real, it's also just as amazing with a little margarita, friends come over, it's easy to make, and it's hard to ruin, so there you go. Let's close things out in regards to a business Instagram account versus a personal Instagram account. I have made the decision as of today to still keep my Instagram account personal, but it doesn't mean that I'm against other people having a business account. It depends what kind of business you have and then you make the best decision. Now, maybe next week I'll switch to a business account. I don't know, but as of today and as of this filming, I'm really proud of the account that I've cultivated and I'm making cognizant decisions on understanding who my demographic is by running ads occasionally to get that information. I'm watching how people are engaging with apps like Later or Planoly and nothing beats just getting down and dirty with your account. When are people posting the most? Try testing posting in the morning, afternoon, at night. Try posting photos of yourself when you're afraid of being on the camera because you never know, people could respond better. Maybe they won't respond at all. Maybe mix it up with inspirational quotes or maybe hire a professional photographer to come shoot you for 30 minutes with the hope that you get 30 photos for the next month to post on Instagram. The options are limitless. The main goal is for you to show up, create conversations, and understand what your tribe wants to see, regardless if you have a personal or a business account. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna go eat and I hope you guys have a good day.